Hello boys and girls and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 5, Book 5A. I am Sakina Kankuni. Today I'll present Episode 4, Unit 3, Weather and Climate. We will focus on grammar. Let's go through your previous homework. You had a homework on your pupil's book, page 42, to choose the correct conjunctions on the email. Let's check your answers together. Dear Yasmin, I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying your time in Kuwait these days. It is very cold and snowy here in Canada. Last Monday, when I was driving back home, it started to snow heavily. I couldn't see the street or the cars around me. So I stopped the car. First, I called the police and they told me not to open the windows or the doors and stay inside the car waiting for help. After that, I felt cold, so I put on my hat and my gloves and wrapped a warm blanket around my knees. I stayed in my car for two hours, caught in the snowstorm. Finally, a truck came and cleared the snow from the road to save me. I thanked him and went back home. I was tired, but was happy to get home safely. I hope that I can come to Kuwait soon. Did you check your answers? Well done. Now let's move to another part of this episode, which is grammar. Our grammar for today is giving advice using should or shouldn't. We usually use should and shouldn't to give advice. Should or shouldn't plus infinitive. Should or shouldn't plus infinitive. All right, boys and girls. Now let's look at this example. Model verb should. You should eat healthy food. You should eat healthy food. We have the subject you. We have the modal verb should. After the modal verb should, we use verb in the infinitive form. That means without any addition, without ed, without ing, without s. Healthy food is the rest of the sentence. Now let's look at the rule. Should plus verb in the infinitive form plus rest of the sentence. Again, should plus verb in the infinitive form plus rest of the sentence. Let's have some more examples. You should do your homework. You should do your homework. You is the subject. Should is the modal verb. Do is the verb in the infinitive form. Your homework is the rest of the sentence. Let's look at another example. We should be kind to animals. We should be kind to animals. We is the subject. Should is the modal verb which we use to give advice. Be is the verb in the infinitive form. Kind to animals is the rest of the sentence. What about the negative? Should plus not plus verb in the infinitive form plus rest of the sentence. Again, boys and girls, if I want to give an advice in the negative form, I will use the modal verb should plus not plus verb in the infinitive form and the rest of the sentence. Let's look at some examples. You shouldn't make noise in class. You shouldn't make noise in class or you should not make noise in class. You is the subject, should is the modal verb, not is used to make it negative, make is the verb in the infinitive form and noise in class is the rest of the sentence. So boys and girls, we can give advice in affirmative sentences like you should. And if I want to give it in a negative form, I will use not. You shouldn't make noise in class. Let's look at some more examples. Children shouldn't watch TV for a long time. Children shouldn't watch TV for a long time. Look at the picture. They are watching TV since morning. I will advise them and tell them, children shouldn't watch TV for a long time or children should not watch TV for a long time. Children is the subject. Should is the modal verb. Not is for negative. Watch is the verb in the infinitive form and TV for a long time is the rest of the sentence. What about this example? 
You shouldn't cut down trees. You shouldn't cut down trees. You is the subject. That's right. Should is the modal verb used to give advice. And not is the negative form. Cut down is the verb in the infinitive form. And trees is the rest of the sentence. So to make the sentence negative, I will say you shouldn't. You shouldn't cut down trees. You should not cut down trees. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's practice. Complete the sentences with should or shouldn't. Complete the sentences with should or shouldn't. Read the sentences carefully and choose which one to complete your sentence with. You space eat many sweets. You space eat many sweets. You should eat many sweets or you shouldn't eat many sweets. What do you think? That's right. Of course, the answer is shouldn't. You shouldn't eat many sweets. Why? Because it is bad for your teeth and bad for your health. Number two, you space help old people. You space help old people. Choose should or shouldn't to complete the sentence. What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is should. You should help old people. You should help old people. Remember, after should, verb comes in the infinitive form. The verb should come in the infinitive form. What about this question? You space go to bed late. You space go to bed late. You have to give an advice. What should you use? Should or shouldn't? You should go to bed late or you shouldn't go to bed late. What do you think? That's right. Great job, boys and girls. The answer is shouldn't. You shouldn't go to bed late because it's bad for your health. All right, boys and girls. You have a homework on your workbook, page 23. Advise your friend on how to keep warm in a cold, rainy weather. Use the pictures to help you and study the example to make it easy for you. Let's read the example together. What should you do in a cold, rainy weather? You should wear a winter hat. I will give you an example. You should have some hot drinks like coffee. Do the rest by your own at home. Now let's have some more practice. Choose the correct answer. We should follow healthy rules to avoid getting COVID-19. We can't, should, or shouldn't keep our hands clean. We should or shouldn't or can have gatherings or parties. We should take taking took vitamin C. Again, boys and girls, we should follow healthy rules to avoid getting COVID-19. We can't, should or shouldn't keep our hands clean. We should, shouldn't or can have gatherings or parties. We should take Taking took vitamin C. Take a minute and try to answer. All right, now let's check your answers. We should follow healthy rules to avoid getting COVID-19. We should keep our hands clean. So the answer is should. We should keep our hands clean. We shouldn't have gatherings or parties. We shouldn't have gatherings or parties. We should take vitamin C. We should take vitamin C. The verb after should should be in the infinitive form. So the answer is take. We should take vitamin C. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have making predictions. Might usually used to make predictions or to express possibility. So might plus verb in the infinitive form. Model verb might. I might visit my uncle this weekend. Might, that means I will or will not. I may or may not. Maybe I will go visit my uncle or I might not go to visit my uncle. So there is a possibility, a chance. It may happen or may not happen. I might visit my uncle this weekend. We notice that we use the subject I, then we added might, the modal verb might, 
after might, we should use verb in the infinitive form. So, the verb here is visit. My uncle this weekend is the rest of the sentence. So, the rule is might plus verb in the infinitive form plus rest of the sentence. Let's look at these examples. It might rain tomorrow. I'm not sure. It might and it might not. It might rain tomorrow. What about this one? He might arrive in Kuwait today. I am not sure. He might arrive in Kuwait today. I'm not sure. So, we use the modal verb might and the verb in the infinitive form, arrive. He might arrive in Kuwait today. I am not sure. Well, what about this one? I don't know where my brother is. He might be at the gym. I don't know where my brother is. He might be at the gym. So after might, we have to add the verb in the infinitive form. Let's practice. Look at the pictures and write what might happen. He spaced dust in his eyes. He spaced dust in his eyes. That's right. He might get dust in his eyes. He might get dust in his eyes. He is the subject. Might is the modal verb used for possibility. And get is the verb in the infinitive form. Dust in his eyes is the rest of the sentence. What about this one? She space an accident. She space an accident. Look at the picture. She is using her mobile phone while driving. What might happen? Excellent job, boys and girls. She might have an accident. She might have an accident. Again, she is the subject. Might is the modal verb to express possibility. And have is verb in the infinitive form. An accident is the rest of the sentence. What about this example? He space a goal. He space a goal. I'm not sure, but he... That's right. He might score a goal. He might score a goal. Might is the modal verb for possibility. Score is a verb in the infinitive form. He might score a goal. Great job, boys and girls. Again, you have another homework on your pupil's book, page 47. Read information about the weather from Kona, then complete the questions and the answers about the weather. I will do the first one with you. I will look at the map and the weather forecast and I will ask what do you think the weather will be like on Tuesday and I will answer it might be sunny again use the weather map and the weather forecast to ask and answer the questions correctly all right boys and girls we've reached to the end of this episode for today In this episode we learned how to use should and shouldn't for giving advice and how to use might for making predictions. Thank you so much for watching us today. I hope you enjoyed this episode with us. I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.